Hello everyone. Welcome once again to another Power BI related tutorial, which is a health analysis project focusing on liver function test data by SlideScope. And in this part, you will learn effect of different type of liver function test parameters on a person. And we will see will these different type of variables cause some effect on a person being healthy or unhealthy. So we can see direct bilirubin versus is healthy. We can see effect of ALT versus AST parameter. And where can you find different type of healthy people? Where can you find unhealthy people in the data? Similarly, total bilirubin versus person being healthy. So if we are considering one numerical variable, how can we see the effect of that numerical variable? The different ranges for healthy and unhealthy people how we can see for two numerical variables and how we can see for categorical variables we also have different type of filters here so you will learn all of this in this particular tutorial so let's get started and create this so this is liver function test results data this is some synthetic results that we have created in order to analyze the effect of different type of liver function test result parameters on patient's health. So here you can see we have the output variable is healthy which is our target variable and we are seeing the effect of different type of parameters such as ALT, AST, categorical parameters such as gender on patient being healthy or not. Some information about these parameters are ALT, elevated ALT levels indicate liver cell injury. Then we have AST, we know it, the uh, typical range of it. So elevated results result may indicate liver damage. So we will see if these particular parameters, if they are above or below some average level, are they causing the person to be healthy or unhealthy? Similarly, we have alkaline phosphate, total bilirubin, direct bilirubin, indirect bilirubin, and the meaning of each of these parameters uh, is given here. Obviously, this uh, we are just doing it for the purpose of data analysis, and these results are not real, and this is only done to teach students of data analysis how to load this data in different type of data analysis tools and how to create some reports out of it in form of visual graphs and visual tables etc. So this is the data set and now we are going to analyze this data set. To begin analysis of this liver function test data, so we will simply connect this data set with Power BI and to connect with Power BI we will simply open Power BI and because the data set is stored in a excel file you will simply collect that excel file with power bi by selecting the excel connector we have simply connected the data in the data i created a table that you can see in the excel file also in my table design the name of table is table one i can rename it also but this is okay and i will simply connect table one if I see any irregularities here, I can transform data, but I can see the data set is properly visible here. So I will simply connect it. Now I am just going to rename my table uh, as LFT. So whenever, if we have to write any type of DAX queries, we will simply write it. So let me rename it to LFT, which is liver function test. For my reports, I have simply created an image using Canva that I am going to use in my Power BI report. And the first thing that we do here, first we use our text here. So from Home tab or Insert tab, you can go and insert a text box. In the text box, you can write what you are trying to analyze. So here we are going to write liver function test analysis. And using these icons and options, we can simply customize it. Let's use a size of 28 
make it a little bit bold align it to center and this way we can analyze the data now we have what we can do we can invert the colors also so we use a light shade color here and in our effects we can use a darker color so let's say we are going to use this particular color this will simply create our heading here if you want you can increase its size to 32 and now we have the heading now using the image here we can add an image to our report so the image will come some somewhere in middle and we can simply you know adjust the image accordingly and in your image also you can go to general tab in format option and enable shadow here if you want so this is a simple shadow and similarly in your text visual also a shadow a visual border can be enabled now we have liver function test analysis dashboard here we have different type of parameters now to begin the analysis there are several things that you have to keep in mind you have all numerical values here which are continuous numerical values and we have data of 100 and seven people has okay you can see 107 people and we have three genders male female and other so we have some categorical values as well as some numerical values here and our output or target variable is is healthy so basically by performing this analysis or by creating this dashboard we simply want to check what is the effect of these different parameters on healthy and unhealthy people okay so when you are when you try to see result of like what is the effect of alp on total bill ruin let's say like what is the relationship between these two variables so if you have to see that effect you can use a scatter plot in your scatter plot you can simply put when you will use scatter plot you will see x axis and y axis and a legend okay so here let's say we put albumin and here we put alp just giving an example it will give you a sum of both numerical variables and what you can do you can simply write don't summarize don't summarize okay so for all the samples that we have this is how or, or this is what you can see is result of albumin versus ALP okay now here we also have legend and in legend you can drag a categorical value like for example gender here. so you will see for different genders what is the uh, you know relationship between albumin and ALP here and since our target variable is is healthy so now you can see if you will go and see here so you can see those people who are healthy they have the albumin range on an average after 4.10 range and up to 4.7 range okay and in case of unhealthy people you can see their distribution slightly below that and their LLP, ALP value is higher. So this way, with the help of two different variables, you will be able to analyze, you know, is healthy versus is unhealthy classification. So now what we can do, we can similarly, similarly go to format your visual and general title, and we will simply write albumin versus ALP. And obviously we can say is healthy so and here we can make the title bold align it to center we can also go to visual part where we can increase X axis title you know, its size we can make it bold similarly Y axis title we can make it bold 
increase its size if you want you can change the color also and this thing over here is called legend so you will see in legend setting so you can also alter the position of legend like you can you know align it in bottom center top center at whatever you prefer okay and this is your simply uh, analysis you can also go to markers in markers you can select the type of uh, marker that you want to use like for example diamond shape and you will see two colors for zero for one so let's say for zero we want to choose red color representing danger and for one we want to select a green color representing success okay this is something that you want that you can use and as per we have an image here so we can also choose the blue color for positive results or results with healthy people and here we can again go to we can again select the chart go to format visual and create a effect here visual border color we will choose a light blue color here so this is albumin versus alp so i will just rewrite the title maybe i wrote incorrectly and if you want to know what are these parameters